Hello guys, this is YC and uh, this is a review on the Bandai High Grade 144 scale Dom Tropen Sand Color or Sand Type or something. Anyway, I don't have a box for this kit. I actually bought this kit second hand. I know uh, this kit is originally based on the Dom Tropen, the purple and red color that was released in 2000. I don't know what year uh, this kit came out. But I bought this off a friend. Uh, you guys know um, I was actually gonna use this thing for a custom, but I decided to uh, do the review on the kit uh, uh, for now. So uh, I actually don't have any accessories that came with this kit other than the ammo, uh, the ammo clips. So I had to improvise. Uh, I actually made uh, his heat saber thing from scratch using uh, parts from the runner <laughs> so anyway uh, all the accessory you see here is actually from other kits and uh, they're not uh, from this kit at all all right so uh, right now I have him holding uh, this uh, Gatling gun kind of thing I think this is from like the campaign parts and uh, he's also use, using a hand from another set. So yeah, here we go. I think he's using one of the uh, Gelgook's hands. And here on the back I made like a little uh, clip so he can hold on to uh, this machine gun. This is also from the Gelgook. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and pop this off. Right here, and uh, we have the heat saver on the back, which I actually made using parts from a runner and a bunch of poly caps. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, go ahead and pop this weapon off and uh, take a closer look at uh, Dom Tropen. All right. So uh, we have a few more accessories. Uh, this one's also from campaign parts, but uh, this one is very similar to the weapon that he used in the the the, the dumb tropen that uses in the uh, Gundam Unicorn. I think uh, this went into an unfortunate hit of a uh, GM or Jim. Yeah. So we have this uh, double bladed Heat Hawk. Pretty cool. So you guys know, if you guys don't know, I'm actually, uh, I'm only a fan of Xeon mobile suits. I don't really care about Gundams. All the Gundams you see here on this channel belong to uh, my collaborator, Eric. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think the only one I'm keeping is probably the Unicorn. And uh, uh, I have another one, which is the uh, Double O Riser. Everything else, I can really care less. <laughs> anyway, that's that. Uh, we have this weapon here. Then uh, we also have two of these uh, hands that have the trigger finger. So these, these are actually part of the kit. And I think we've seen one uh, from uh, one of the uh, other sets. I think the Zeku Ainz also have something very similar to this with a working trigger finger. So it actually works very well with this weapon. So right here we have the... Uh, uh, we have the uh, MP40 machine gun. You can see uh, he actually have ammo clip. The actual MP40 machine gun from uh, this kit actually has a removable uh, magazine. But this one just fixed because this is from a Gelgook. And uh, he can hold on to it, sort of. And uh, let's go ahead and pop this hand off. This thing also came from the uh, Gelgook. So let's go ahead and have him wield this weapon. And yeah, he can wield it perfectly. That's actually very cool. Alright, and let's go ahead and pop this weapon off. <laughs> and uh, use another one. So we have the... Uh, uh, giant bazooka from uh, the Free Schneid. So this is also a weapon that the uh, uh, Tropen is uh, known to use. So, yeah. 
I don't have his. Uh, I wish I had gotten his uh, Dumb Tropins uh, style bazooka. This thing's actually really nice, but uh, I guess I'll make do with this one. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Yep, and uh, let's go ahead and pop this off. Right, so that's almost all the weapons. Uh, the actual kit actually came with uh, four of those uh, stern fouls, those grenades thing, those hand grenades. <laughs> uh, I think I do have some from the camper kit, but I just uh, didn't bother to uh, go dig that one up. So right here is the heat saber that I actually made uh, from parts from a runner. I actually cut off a part of a side of a runner and then I painted yellow. And I took another part from another runner to uh, create the handle. And these are just poly caps I glue together. <laughs> but uh, it works and uh, it looks pretty convincing. I do need to uh, paint it up a little bit better. But yeah, here we go, heat saber. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, so let's talk about articulation. This is a really, really old kit, so don't expect much from articulation. The head's on the... Uh, thing's on the... Okay. Thing's on the ball peg, I think. I didn't build this kit, so I have no idea. <laughs> uh, you can't do anything with the model eye, it's just a sticker. But you can build the head, I guess. Yeah, seems to like to come off. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, uh, we do have uh, the shoulders actually on these pegs and the, arm, uh, the shoulder armor just held on by friction, kind of like the Galgu. Then uh, with the armor removed, you can see uh, the arm can go out like that, rotate 360 degrees. I think this is uh, yeah, a polycap. Uh, we have bicep swivel, we have a 90 degree bend, single joint elbow the hands on the ball joint and then uh, we have the waist articulation here obviously hindered by the front skirt and then uh, we have uh, individual uh, independent uh, front skirts which is pretty cool and then uh, we have these old style articulation polycap onto the ball joint like so no uh, peg hole for the action base and since it's a dom the articulation is super limited because the feet is just humongous so this is pretty much all you can do. Yeah, I can articulate the side skirts a little bit, but you know, it really doesn't do anything. Cause, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, the feet appears to be on the ball joint on the polycap. You can see uh, this thing is pretty dusty. It's been sitting around for a while, so. All right, and uh, that's pretty much it for the dumb tropin. Sand type or sand color. And uh, yeah, hope you guys find this information helpful. And as always, thanks for watching.